Hi, um, we are science communicators working at the British Science Association. My name is Farah. And my name is Tom, and we're here to present our top tips for making your Prove It video. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to choose a topic. So it could be anything you like, as long as it's in line with our theme of Our World in Motion. So you can choose any one of this huge, broad range of topics. Once you've done that, you need to get a little bit more specific. Yeah, so you want to kind of bring it down to one key message within that theme. Maybe, maybe in fact, one sentence that you're going to say on camera in your 30 second video. Since you've only got 30 seconds, you do want to keep it nice, um, nice and concise. So once you've chosen your 30 second sentence, you then need to work out who your audience is going to be. So if you're uploading your video to Films for Learning, you'll be presenting to school children your own age. So just imagine you're chatting to your friends at school. If you're uploading your video to YouTube, the audience is going to be much more general. So try and appeal to a broader range of people as possible. So once you've done that, the next thing to do is think about presenting and your presenting style on camera. Now, it is important that even though you've only got 30 seconds for your video, it's important not to rush when you're speaking. Now, if you are rushing, then it's probably because you've got, you're trying to say too much in that short space of time. So cut it down so that you're saying less, but you're still being very clear. And also, avoid using any technical jargon or, or technical terms that your audience might not be able to understand. And finally, try not to read from a script. I know it's easier to do that, but it does sound scripted and not natural. So one last way of making your video really professional is to try and structure your presentation. So tell your audience what you're going to say, deliver your message, and then wrap up at the end of your video. It's worth practicing a few times off camera so that you can make sure that your presentation fits into 30 seconds and also you'll be more relaxed when it comes to presenting in front of the camera. When you are ready to present in front of the camera, maybe do it once or twice and look over it before you send it to us because obviously we want to make sure that you're on the screen, we can see you clearly and we can hear you clearly as well. Don't forget, most importantly, have fun. Check out some of the other videos on YouTube and Films for Learning and vote for the ones that you think are the best. Great, thanks very much.